G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're on Skirts Up, we're doing our first overnight camping mission on the not so new boat. So for new viewers, I've had this boat for almost a year now, haven't done an overnight camping mission, so we're gonna get out there, got the swag. I thought I might as well just bring my swag, set that up in there as like a big sleeping bag, and then there might be some things that I need changing or whatever, but at least if I have my swag, it's all waterproof and yeah, it's, nothing's gonna go wrong. I've got fishing gear and diving gear, so this morning I'm gonna try and get a few reefies. I've got my snatchers. They're available on www.offshoreadventures.com.au. I've got one jig out now. I'm gonna tie a second one on. I do have bait. You know, I need bait for dewfish tonight and sometimes the fishing's slow with jigs, so I might wanna put some bait on. But anyway, I do have bait. I do have food, so if I don't catch any fish, it's not gonna be the end of the world. I just hooked up trying to get my head cam on. A nice baby snapper. Undersized, but yeah, the jig would have been in the water for less than a minute. Got absolutely hammered on the 80 grammer. Hopefully, I'll see you in a couple years, mate, when you're a lot bigger. Mwah. Oh, another fish on the silver 80 gram. No fish for the orange yet. <laughs> it's still dropping down, I guess. This is something shit. But when you're fishing with jigs near the bottom, you kind of have to expect some shit fish. Another tiny nanogai. These are really nice eating, these nanogai, but not really what I'm after today. I just came in to go squidding because the snapper fishing was shit and hooked up first cast. <laughs> Hadn't even got a wind in, I hooked up. Well, I got him. He's in the net. Not a bad one. Only a small little calamari, but they all taste the same to me, so he's coming back with us. Second squid on the same little cheap squid jig. I've actually got an expensive one on that one. <laughs> and this guy is 2-0 right now. I like the more expensive squid jigs, but at the end of the day, I don't really think you need them. But I do find they go better for me. But the cheap ones still work. Oh, come here, buddy. Don't squirt me. Oh, you slippery, slippery, slippery dog. The cheap squid jig is dominating. 3 0. It's always first cast. I'll give that one a twitch, and then this one, as soon as I get back, it hooks up. I managed seven or eight squid in about half an hour, that was an unreal session. I think I'm gonna get into the water, go for a dive. It looks pretty clear. Uh, it's 19 degrees, so it's not too bad. And we'll try and shoot some fish, maybe some craze. But yeah, I wasn't going that well on the snapper. Well, I was going terrible on the snapper. So we'll try and get in the water and show you guys some fish and some lobsters, hopefully. Anyway, I'll see you in the drink. Phew. Just getting in from a first dive and I did manage one nice little slipper lobster. I did see some fish like some salmon, drummer, a little rat king, but nothing really worth shooting.
Just got in from my second dive, managed a nice slipper lobster. This guy's a bit bigger than the first one and absolutely smashed a little blue mowie. No size on most of them, like they're not huge fish, but getting a feed, so it's going all right. So we're gonna hop back in. I did see some bonito right at the start. Didn't even have my gun loaded, they were big bonito. So I'm gonna to go to a spot I know that holds bonito and hopefully we'll find some. Couple nice sized bonito. These guys are really nice sashimi and really nice cooked. They don't freeze well, but they're really nice. They got razor sharp teeth and I just put my finger on them. Usually when you see these guys, you'll see a lot of salmon, a lot of bait fish, sometimes rat kingies feed with them as well. But the big kingies will smash these guys. But yeah, really nice eating. I knew after I saw that school that went past me, didn't have my gun loaded that we'd find a couple where I usually find them. So that's where local knowledge pays off. Went straight there. Shot two in the first 10 minutes and yeah, perfect. Anyway, it's getting pretty late, wind's up. I was gonna try and snap a fish and stuff like that, but I don't even know if I'll worry about it. I might just run in. It'll take me a good hour to set up for camping. That'll get to me about five o'clock in the afternoon and then chill out for an hour, have some dinner, and then by seven o'clock I should be ready to go fishing. Anyway, we'll chuck these guys back on the ice. It's a pretty good day. Didn't manage very well when it comes to fishing wise, but got in with the dive gear and smashed a few nice fish and a few nice craze. Just got to my little spot down the river. I am wrecked. I don't feel that tired, like I'm gonna fall asleep, but my body's just aching. Well, I seem to have made an awful discovery. The Sigaflex or whatever's in there must be so old because it's just leaking a little bit of water through constantly and i really don't think i'm actually going to be able to camp because if that keeps going all night the bilge is going to keep going all night until it runs the battery flat and then it's just going to start filling up with water throughout the night and i'll sink and skirts up It'll be skirts down <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know how i feel about this because i've definitely wanted to do my first camping mission in skirts up that's why i came solo usually i'd bring it cute little friend with me <laughs> but I was like the first time I was I have to go solo just to make sure everything's okay and I've just noticed that definitely doesn't look okay to me um, let me know your thoughts in the comments but yeah I might be turning around soon and going straight back home well skirts up maybe leaking but <laughs> we're gonna get that fixed but yeah not today but yeah definitely can't camp anyway we'll have an early dinner and end the episode on a high note, not a low note. Bilge will save me right now, but in the end of the day, it's better me noticing now than two hours down the track when it's dark or five hours down the track when the bilge stops working and I'm getting wet because the water's coming over the top of the boat. So yeah, I'm glad I noticed then. It is annoying, but that's exactly why I decided I'd come by myself, just in case something went wrong, just like it just did, and yeah. There's no one else on board, it's just me. Oh, this knife is blunt. Might as well have a beer or seven. Might have seven later tonight when I get home. So I found out my precious skirt's up. As a hole in her. 
you want to leave bonito just like any other tuna or pelagic in general like kingfish a little bit undercooked because it's going to keep cooking when it's warm and there's no going back once you overcook fish but tuna especially or pelagic once it's overcooked it's just dry and shit So that is good. That's actually cooked to perfection. I left it a little bit raw in the middle, but while I eat that, it's gonna just keep cooking. Anyway guys, I'm gonna smash this wrap, make another wrap, smash that beer as well, and then smash it home before it gets too late. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this ended badly, but you know, there's not much you can do about that. I'm glad I noticed now. So if you're gonna take one good thing out of this episode, it's that I'll notice now and not later. Anyway, if you want any merch, www.offshoreadventures.com.au. If you want any snatches, not that they did very well today, www.offshoreadventures.com.au. And I'll see you next episode. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. And wish me luck for my next boat camping adventure on Skirts Up. See you then. Yew.